I got up, water was everywhere. I just had my feet on the bed rails and up. So by that evening, we came back in and started cleaning up. And I stayed in here. Yeah, I started getting sick about a month after that. And I got weaker and weaker. Some uh, guys came and they asked me, ma'am, how did you stay in that house? With all that mold, I'm sure you. So I moved in with Tony, and I've been there ever since. She said, well, Mama, uh, would you, what you would want to do? I said, I'm going to put my name on the list, and maybe they will give me some kind of help. After a year, nobody called me. A year and a half, nobody called me. I got a lot of pride to myself. <laughs> I don't like to ask for help. Unless you walk into someone else's shoes, you can't say what you're going to do. I still believe there's a lot of people need help. And they need people to help them. And one family at a time, that's all it takes, just one, one family at a time. And when they finish this house, I'm going to lift up that window in every bedroom in the back and just ride through, through this house hollering, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hurricane Harvey resulted in the largest housing disaster in U.S. history. Over a year later, tens of thousands of families are still displaced or living in damaged houses. Recovery is far from finished and could take over a decade to complete. But together, we can make a difference. Volunteer in your community today and help turn damaged houses back into homes again for families just like yours.